Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Jonah is a picture of all of us at some point in our lives. God called him to go and preach his love to Nineveh, and he went the opposite direction. God said yes, and Jonah said no thanks. When God got his attention and encouraged him in a way he had difficulty refusing to be obedient and go to Nineveh, the Ninevites repented and God had mercy on them. Instead of being glad about this, Jonah was mad about this. To make a long story short, read the book of Jonah one of these days, but God brought a plant up and it gave Jonah shade in the heat of the day. And eventually that plant withered and died and it made Jonah very mad. You see, Jonah cared more about the plant that gave him comfort than he did about the people whom God had created in Nineveh. The Bible says in Jonah chapter 4, beginning in verse 9, But God said to Jonah, Do you do well to be angry for the plant? And Jonah said, I do well to be angry, angry enough to die. Yet in the midst of Jonah's rebellion and anger, we see God's mercy and patience with Jonah. As he was with Jonah, so he is with you and me too, gracious and patient, going to great lengths to bring us to the place where we will be the recipients of his great blessings as well. Jonah was not perfect. Jonah's attitude stunk sometimes. Well, guess what? nor are we perfect, and sometimes our attitudes stink as well. Sometimes we don't love others as we ought, but oh, how gracious God is to us all. He will go to great lengths. I pray that He would never go to the length He did with Jonah to get me to do what He wants me to do. I would rather not be the dinner of a great fish, but He did even more than that. He loved me so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus, to die on a cross and on the third day to be raised again, to leave the glory of heaven, to know what it was, to have no place to lay His head, to be hungry, to be thirsty. The Bible says the people of that day ridiculed Him, mocked Him. That didn't happen when He was in heaven with angels at His beck and call. The Bible says that in the day He walked upon this earth that people cursed at Him, people spit upon Him and people ridiculed him so viciously, and yet he did it for you and for me. Listen to what the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. He will have mercy and abundantly pardon our sins. I'm so thankful that God had grace and mercy upon Jonah, and he did what it took to bring him back to a place of blessing in his life. And I'm so glad that God has grace and love for you and me as well. May we be willing to be in his will every day of our lives. Father, we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy, for your love that brings us to the place where you desire for us to be, a place where we are able to be blessed with blessings beyond our imagination. Thank you for loving us that much, just like you love Jonah, just like you love me, just like you love everybody. Thank you, Lord, for that love. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Live in the love of Jesus today.